Hey there, LBT Squad. I'm your host, Alex Pop, and you're watching Episode 6 of The Road to LBT 14. We're gearing up for the new upcoming movie, The Land Before Time 14, Journey of the Brave, and today we just got the juiciest information that we probably will get before the movie is released. Now, normally I would be giving my subscriber shoutouts about now, but recently the subscriptions have started to come in more rapidly, so... Instead of you guys having to listen to every name and number waiting for me to get to the subject of the video, I'm going to send new subscribers a message containing their squad member number and my personal gratification. So, what are these new details that I speak of? We have just gotten our official release date for the Land Before Time 14 Journey of the Brave. February 2nd, 2016 is the day that it comes to DVD. Yes. The Land Before Time 14 is coming out on Groundhog Day. And hopefully the movie will be so good that it will be a day that I'll want to live over and over again. A special shout out to time travel movie fans who understood what I was getting at there. I appreciate your viewership. So as of the date of this video, that is 54 days away. And not only that, but we've also got our DVD cover. So on the cover we see Littlefoot and the gang sliding down river with uh, Petrie and Etta flying behind them, and we also see Fire Mountain in the background. Now a lot of the DVD artwork that appears on the uh, on the covers of some of the later films like this one, I'm not a huge fan of it. It just, it just looks kind of, uh, it just looks really cartoony. Like, uh, like we see here, Sarah looks kind of goofy, doesn't she? And also, I think Ducky's beak is a bit too big. But that is just the DVD artwork, and also if you've seen like uh, the the DVD covers for the for the TV episodes, uh, those also don't have the best looking uh, the best looking image. But the animation in the movie is much better. So the DVD cover doesn't bother me at all. I mean, we do have the trailer, so we know exactly what the animation looks like, and I do think the animation looks uh, pretty good for the most part. So also, on the DVD cover, we see a tag that says, Only at Walmart. And yes, indeed, the movie is going to be a Walmart exclusive, but that, that is, as of right now, just on the release date of February 2nd. I imagine at a later date it is going to be available in more places, but, uh, but on February 2nd it's just going to be available at Walmart. So be prepared to be taking a trip down to the Walmart nearest you. Or you can do what I did, and go online and pre-order the movie. I just, uh, I just pre-bought it for $16.97, plus all the, uh, all the shipping and stuff. And they do charge a greater amount of shipping, depending on how fast the shipping is. Uh, if, uh, if you're willing to wait until, like, uh, February 10th, then, uh, you can get free shipping. But if you're like me, and you just really can't wait at all, then you might want to get rush shipping. So it's, it tells me here that it's going to arrive at my place by Thursday, February 4th, but I'm pretty sure it's going to arrive on February 2nd, considering how, considering how early the purchase is. Now there is one more thing that the DVD cover confirms to us, and that is the inclusion of Damon Wayans Jr. as a character called Wild Arms. The, uh... The actor and character were, have been listed on IMDb for a while now. The thing is, I didn't want to talk about it until I had an adequate source, because as we can see, IMDb has been, uh, the IMDb page for the movie has been pretty editable lately, considering how it's gone back and forth from, uh, from George Ball to um, Corey Burton to voice uh, Sarah's dad. So we still don't know who's going to voice Sarah's dad or uh, or even Grandpa Longneck yet. The, we might not even know until the movie comes out. So it's pretty safe to say that that uh, character in the background in the center is Wild Arms. I have absolutely no idea what kind of dinosaur he is. Uh, he kind of looks like maybe a... Uh, uh, not a clue. It's really hard to tell at this point. And I'm thinking he's probably going to be like an unnamed character because Wild Arms sounds more like the, uh, the name of a species that the dinosaurs in that universe would give themselves based on a, a distinguishable characteristic. 
you know, like uh, Apatosaurus is a long neck and so on and so forth. I really do hope, though, that he's not just one of the yellow bellies from the Wisdom of Friends, because if that's the case, then that's not looking like a great sign. Now, we have a couple of other things confirmed to us by the Details tab on the, on the Walmart page where you can buy the movie. One of them is the runtime. The runtime is actually not going to be two hours, as I had, uh, as I had suspected. I did analyze this one photo from Aria Noel Curzon and Andy McAfee when they were uh, when they were uh, in front of the screen with the movie playing, and in the uh, in the top left hand corner there was the the time bar that was paused at the one hour fifty four minute mark. So that's kind of what led me to think that the movie might be two hours. But there was someone who uh, brought forward the idea that the the tape might have also included like storyboards and whatnot, and that's probably the case because the movie is going to be a pretty a pretty standard runtime for a Land Before Time movie. It is 82 minutes long, but I'm not deterred by that at all. In fact, I'm actually kind of glad that they decided to uh, stay in the runtime range that the Land Before Time series is already in. And one more thing, we have the names of all of the songs that are in the movie. And we have not three, but four songs in the movie. The only other Land Before Time movie that had four songs instead of three was Journey to Big Water. And even then, it was just kind of a, a one-minute version of the song Big Water from Mysterious Island. Here, we've actually got what I think are going to be four uh, like full-length songs, like uh, more than two and a half minutes. The first song is called Today is the Day, not to be confused with that awesome Lincoln Brewster song. And no doubt that the song is going to be about the, the dinosaur holiday called Treasure Day. I still don't know what that holiday is going to be about, but I'm guessing that that moment in the trailer where Littlefoot announces to his friends, you know what day today is? I'm, I'm pretty certain that that's going to be like the segue into that song. And then the second song in the movie is the one from the trailer, Look for the Light. The third one, though, doesn't sound all that promising. The third song in the movie is called Hot and Stinky. Okay, well, I don't know what that song is going to be about, but uh, the title doesn't sound all that great, but I don't know, it could be a fun song. And then finally, the fourth song in the movie is called Better Off Alone. And uh, judging by the title, I'm I'm thinking that that's probably going to be like the the most uh, the most emotionally driven song in the movie, and so and so just from that, that's that's the song that I'm looking forward to most. I'm really looking forward to hearing what that one's going to be about. So those are all of our newest details, and we got just 54 days until the release of the movie. So man, I am getting pumped. We're getting much closer, and man, I really hope that this movie's good. Please, God, let it be good. I do think that this movie will be good, but I'm just going to stay slightly leaning toward the cautious side. I, I really do hope that this isn't just some kid's movie. I really want this to be a Land Before Time movie. So, let me know in the comments what you think of all the new details, whether it be the release date, the DVD cover... Uh, the fact that Damon Wayans Jr. is in it, the runtime, or the songs. Whatever it is, let me know. That's a wrap for now. If you liked this and you want to see more, slap the like button, subscribe for future videos, and follow us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Alex Pop. Catch you later. Thinking I'm just too hot and stinky. Thinking I'm just too hot and stinky. Can't you see I'm hot and stinky? Look at me, I'm hot and stinky. I do hope that that's what the song is.